Number 10, Jay-Z. Yes, it's true that he's a famous rapper with a stellar career that made millions and millions of dollars. And the fact that he's married to Beyonce is definitely something to brag about. With all that considered, anyone would be cocky, but Jay-Z takes it to a whole other level. In fact, his arrogance was at an all-time high in 2013, when he was heavily criticized by social activist Harry Belafonte and other prominent figures in the black community for what they believe is a lack of social responsibility. He responded in literally the worst way possible, quote, I'm offended by that because first of all, and this is gonna sound arrogant, but my presence is charity, just who I am, just like Obama's is. He went on to say that Obama provides hope, whether he does anything. The hope that he provides for a nation and outside of America is enough. So basically, he says that he's doing the same thing just by being famous. Not only that, but in 2012, Jay-Z dissed Robert De Niro, who was apparently a big fan of his music. The actor reportedly called Jay-Z six times to work with him and received a grand total of zero calls back. De Niro then verbally confronted Jay-Z about the situation and said, it doesn't matter who you are, if someone calls you six times, you call them back. It doesn't matter who you are, that is just rude. Number nine, Gwyneth Paltrow. She's one of those celebrities that really need to be humbled. Even before trying to be some kind of lifestyle guru, she made it clear a long time ago just how out of touch she is with regular people. She once made an entire population of working mothers angry when she said, quote, it's much harder for me. I think to have a regular job and to be a mom is not as, of course there are challenges, but it's not like being on set. Not only that, but in 2009, she was quoted saying, I am who I am. I can't pretend to be somebody who makes $25,000 a year. Even earlier in 2006, she trash talked Reese Witherspoon's career. Quote, why is she doing these stupid romantic comedies? But of course it's for money and status. And let's not forget all the drama with the Goop Lab, which is just another way for Paltrow to push her so-called healthy lifestyle onto regular people, where she posts must-have outfits that cost hundreds if not thousands of dollars and tries to frame it as a necessity. Her website was also heavily criticized for promoting questionable things like sprays and crystals that are meant to prevent mental manipulation by people, not to mention potentially dangerous supplements that were marketed to pregnant women. So it's no surprise that she earned the top spot in Star's 2013 Most Hated Celebrity list. Number eight, Jennifer Lopez. JLo's reputation as a diva precedes her, and over the years, it's become blaringly obvious that she is not at all down to earth. She didn't hold back when it came to her opinion on sharing the stage with Shakira at the 2020 Super Bowl halftime show. In her newly released documentary called Halftime, she labeled it as the worst idea in the world. Quote, if it was going to be a double headliner, they should have given us 20 minutes. That's what they should have effing done. Basically, it turns out that Jennifer was frustrated with the NFL for booking two headliners and making them share the stage at the same time. She's also notorious for refusing to talk to certain people, like in 2012 when she got a hotel maid fired for asking for her signature, or when she was on a commercial airline and a flight attendant asked JLo what she wanted to drink. And rather than telling the attendant, she turned to her assistant to have them relay the drink order. Let's also mention the infamous movie line interview in 1998, when she basically decided to trash all the other celebrities that were bigger at the time and try to trivialize their career. When asked about Madonna, she said, quote, do I think she's a great performer? Yeah. Do I think she's a great actress? No. Acting is what I do. So I'm harder on people when they say, oh, I can do that. And I'm like, no, don't spit on my craft. Number seven, James Charles. The internet cannot forget when YouTube makeup guru Tati Westbrook uploaded a viral video called By Sister, where she accused James Charles of using his fame to manipulate someone's sexuality. Tati mentioned one incident in particular, which occurred during her birthday party, where James had allegedly tried to flirt with a waiter named Sam and used the excuse, I'm a celebrity, when Tati warned him that Sam was actually straight. The level of entitlement there is ridiculous. Since then, a wave of allegations have come out accusing the YouTuber of sending explicit messages to minors 
pictures, specifically nude photographs, and pressuring them into inappropriate conversations on Snapchat. In April of 2021, Charles did address the allegations in a YouTube video titled Holding Myself Accountable, but that only served to dig him deeper into the hole as he admitted to the fact that he had sent those messages to the minors. What's good is that he received quite a lot of backlash for the scandal, as Morphe, a makeup company that Charles had worked with since 2016, announced on Twitter that they had severed ties from the influencer. So in the end, his entitlement really caught up with him. Number 6. Adam Levine There is no denying Adam Levine's sex symbol status, but for that exact same reason, he has also been labelled a bit too cocky for his own good. In fact, just last year, a TikTok went viral of Adam going off on a fan for coming on stage. The incident happened during a Maroon 5 performance, when he was belting out the band's 2004 hit, Sunday Morning, and an overly eager fan suddenly rushed to the stage and reached for him. The video shows that security quickly grabbed the woman and pulled her away from Adam, who was then seen cursing, shuddering, and shaking off the experience before getting back into the music. Many were offended by his visceral reaction, suggesting that he should humble himself. And remember, the band is only successful because of its fans. But back in a 2014 interview with GQ magazine, the singer addressed his reputation as a bit of an egomaniac. Quote, I'm not arrogant, I'm cocky. It's different. Cocky is playful. Others would certainly beg to differ. But if you want to know what was really obnoxious, let's look at his tone deaf comments about infidelity in 2009, when he said, I have cheated. And you know what? There is nothing worse than the feeling of doing it. So apparently, it's not hard for the people that are getting cheated on, only the people that are doing the cheating. Number 5. Ezra Miller The actor has grown increasingly entitled over the years ever since landing pivotal roles in huge movies like Fantastic Beasts and Flash. But it's surprising that Ezra Miller's crazy behaviour has gone unchecked for so long. For instance, in 2020, they were caught on video choking a woman outside a bar in Iceland. The incident took place after Miller was approached by a group of eager young fans who were just excited to have spotted the actor. But the interaction escalated and Miller was heard asking the woman, Oh, you want to fight? That's what you want to do? She was clearly confused and thought that Miller was just joking until they grabbed her by the throat and violently threw her to the ground. They were also involved in a string of arrests in Hawaii. And in one incident, officials say that Miller became irate after being asked to leave a gathering at a bar and threw a chair which struck a 26-year-old woman on the head, injuring her very badly. Not only that, but the 29-year-old has also been accused by two musicians of stealing their music and trying to pass it off as their own without giving them credit. Music producer Oliver Ignatius and rapper Geis Guevara claim the actor stole the music they worked on and posted it to social media without credits. Number 4. Kanye West There are approximately over 100,000 ridiculous Kanye West quotes on why he thinks that he's so great. So much so that these days he's more known for his erratic behaviour and strange comments rather than for his music and fashion endeavours. Like at the 2009 MTV Video Music Awards, when he infamously interrupted Taylor Swift's acceptance speech for Best Female Video. Kanye jumped on stage and took over the mic, declaring that Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. And it wasn't just a heat of the moment thing, he seemed to be genuinely okay with interrupting another person's acceptance speech because a whole decade later, he told Nick Cannon, quote, if God didn't want me to run up on stage and say, Beyonce had the best video, he wouldn't have sat me in the front row. Apart from that, one of the cockiest things he's ever said was, quote, for me, I am a creative genius. There's no other way to word it. He's also compared himself to Shakespeare, Andy Warhol, and Tupac. In fact, he once said, I'm my own favourite rapper, and that his greatest pain in life is that he will never be able to see himself perform live. Wow. Number 3. DaBaby Another celebrity that's extremely entitled is DaBaby. The 30 year old rapper was accused of making homophobic remarks at a music festival concert in Miami last year. DaBaby told the crowd that if you didn't show up with any STIs, quote, that'll make you die in two to three weeks, then put a cell phone light in the air. He was actually referencing the particular STI that most commonly affects the queer community, much to everyone's outrage. In fact, he shouted many other questionable things at the crowd, mainly trying to to hype them up with disparaging comments about gay men. Of course, his behaviour quickly drew massive criticism and his attempt to clarify his views didn't really help his case at all. He claimed that his intentions were to uplift gay fans who are disease-free because they are not, quote, 
nasty junkies. Naturally, he got ripped into by the LGBTQ plus community, Madonna, Elton John, and his collaborator, Dua Lipa. He was booted from the 2022 Lollapalooza tour and had a concert in Atlanta called off, as well as the fashion brand Boohoo Man bolting on a deal with him and radio stations putting his music into time out. Number two, Leah Michelle. She has recently made headlines for replacing fellow actress Beanie Feldstein in the Broadway production of Funny Girl and fans are fuming. They have good reason to be upset because Leah Michelle is the complete opposite of humble. In fact, the actress is still being plagued by multiple allegations of racism and bullying that surfaced in June of 2020. According to actors that worked with her on the set of Glee, she was an extremely spoiled and hateful person. While only rumors circulated about her demeanor before, everything changed when the actress tweeted her support for Black Lives Matter and her former co-star Samantha Ware called her out on her hypocrisy. After Samantha spoke out, dozens of co-stars, film crew and staff flooded social media with stories about the diva. In fact, one Twitter user shared an instance when she worked with Michelle and the late Corey Monteith. Quote, I've been telling people this for years. I worked with her once. She literally would only speak to me through her assistant, just not addressing my presence. She was two feet away. Corey was kind and incredibly lovely to work with. So it's safe to say that her real life personality matched up with her arrogant on screen persona as Rachel Berry. And number one, Shia LaBeouf. Never a stranger to acting out bad behavior or questionable choices, Shia LaBeouf's antics have given him a reputation for being one of the most obnoxious actors that Hollywood has ever produced. One perfect example of this was when the Transformers actor tried his hand at directing and came out with his very own short film called Howard Cantor, which was shown at Cannes in May 2012 and received significant acclaim and praise from critics everywhere. But what people didn't realize is that he literally stole the whole script and tried to claim it off as his own. The script was published online in late 2013 and comic fans noticed that the story was copied pretty much word for word from a book by Daniel Close without credit, consent, or even compensation. To make matters worse, when confronted about it, Shia apologized and then later revealed to have plagiarized all of his apologies from other people. Only a few weeks later, as a publicity stunt to gain attention, he declared that he was retiring from his persona as a celebrity and started appearing in public wearing a paper bag on his head with the words, I am not famous anymore written on it. If any celebrity would benefit from being humbled, it's definitely Shia LaBeouf. Number 10, Will Smith. Most people know about the infamous slap at this year's Oscars, but Will Smith's arrogant behavior actually dates back a few decades. Just ask Janet Hubert. She played Aunt Viv on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air alongside Will Smith in the 90s sitcom. When Hubert left the show in 1993, she said that it was due to creative differences, but eventually revealed that she practically got bullied off the show by Smith, who was a rising star at the time. In fact, he went on the record publicly dissing his former co-star several times and during one radio interview he said quote I can straight up say that Janet Hubert wanted the show to be the Aunt Viv of Bel Air show. As a result Janet was somewhat shut out of the industry and labeled as hard to work with. When asked if Smith had matured since those comments she told TMZ that he is still an egomaniac and has not grown up. It wasn't until the Fresh Prince of Bel Air reunion special in 2020 that Smith even acknowledged that he made life hell for the actress during their third season. Hubert opened up about how how those rumors had cost her everything, including her career and reputation. Quote, calling a black woman difficult is Hollywood's kiss of death. Number nine, Miles Teller. While being interviewed for Esquire in 2015, he was quoted saying, I was thinking about how I probably think I'm better looking than the public thinks I am. Maybe it's because I came from a small town, but I always did well for myself. A lot of people seem to think that he was implying that girls from small towns have lower standards or that there simply aren't as many good looking people in small small towns. Either way, it was a bit of a strange remark. Teller has also had no issue insulting John Cusack by saying, I guess we look alike. We did some similar movies. He wasn't traditionally good looking, he was offbeat and quirky but confident. I get it, but I don't want his career. That last comment seemed a little bit unnecessary, but okay. Not only that, but Teller tried to distance himself from his fellow actors. Quote, I feel like a lot of actors of my generation are not proper actors. I want to break out of that whole group of actors in their early 20s and really start to put stuff down that lets you know I take this seriously. It's only been a few years since he landed his first major role, but the actor has already developed something of a reputation in the industry. He admitted to only taking his role in the movie 
divergent for business reasons, and that the blockbuster left him feeling dead inside. Clearly, Miles Teller is just a little too comfortable throwing his own movies under the bus after he receives the check. Number 8. Lindsay Lohan The actress was exposed for her extremely obnoxious attitude by writer Jacqueline D. Powers, who had originally planned on shadowing the then 25 year old. But the writer for Plum Miami saw firsthand what the actress was like over a weekend and proceeded to write an article which painted Lindsay as demanding and a drunken diva who traveled with a revolving pack of pseudo chaperones. She revealed that Lohan had a full on meltdown over a misplaced pair of heels and mentioned the time that she shouted at a parking lot attendant, saying, Move that cone, I'm Lindsay Lohan. According to the journalist, this incident foreshadowed the arrogance and demanding personality she exhibited as her sweet girl facade started slipping. Jacqueline claimed that Lindsay was constantly looking for drama, and the actress allegedly told her that she was indignant that she was not considered for the movie Black Swan because she took ballet classes until she was 19. Add all of this to the incident in 2018 when the actress was recorded speaking to what looked like a homeless family sitting on the street and tried to convince them to give her their children so that she could take them to a hotel. When they did not respond to the offer, she attempted to reach for one of the kids and take them with her by force. Number 7. Justin Bieber In the beginning of his career as a young teen, Bieber seemed to be extremely humble and kind. But as his fame grew, so did his attitude and lack of human decency. He took his apparent belief that he is a one of a kind way beyond his position in the music industry. Like when Bieber said that he hoped and Frank would have been a believer. The once teenage heartthrob shocked the internet in 2013 when he was in Amsterdam visiting the hiding place of the young victim, which has since been turned into a museum. The Canadian pop star opened himself up to ridicule and online anger when he wrote in the Anne Frank House guest book that it was truly inspiring to be able to come here and that Anne was a great girl. Hopefully she would have been a believer. The comments were insensitive at best as it sounded like he believed Anne Frank would have been his devoted fan. Not only that, but he's also thought of himself above the law on several occasions and is known for his atrocious behavior in public. He's been in trouble with the cops for graffiti spraying, egg throwing, smoking and causing disturbances to his neighbors, just to name a few. In a 2013 Billboard interview, Bieber said, quote, Don't say I'm not talented. If you haven't noticed, I wasn't made. I was found. Yeah, okay. Number six, Amber Heard. You could argue that the Aquaman actress has already been humbled big time after losing the highly publicized defamation trial brought against her by Johnny Depp. But as followers of the case were glued to their screens for the six weeks that the trial was live streamed, viewers were subjected to various stories of her arrogance and entitlement. In fact, when Depp's sound engineer Keenan Wyatt appeared in court and during his testimony, he testified about a time that he joined the former couple on a private jet flight from Boston to Los Angeles in May of 2014. It was then that he noticed that the actress was giving her ex-husband the cold shoulder and at one point he tried to comfort her by telling her that Depp cares about her, which resulted in her yelling at him, saying how dare you talk to me, and screaming at him to get away from her. It was also revealed during a trial that Heard bullied her ex-assistant Kate James, refusing to pay her a living wage. And according to James, one of her duties as Heard's assistant was collecting two copies of any magazine that featured Amber on the cover and storing them in a garage. So it's likely that the actress was extremely self-obsessed among other things. Number 5. Kim Kardashian The Keeping Up With The Kardashian star was never really one to be humble. In fact, she's known to be obnoxious and what some would call everything that's wrong with celebrity culture these days. She is totally obsessed with her appearance and fans have seen her complain about not being skinny enough or fashionable enough for years on her show. So no one was really surprised when in 2015 she published a book containing only her selfies, which certainly speaks to how confident she is that people would want to buy a thousand photos of her face. Or in 2011, when Old Navy released a series of ads featuring a brunette woman that looked ever so slightly similar to Kim, so she sued the company for millions of dollars. She believed that they capitalized on her look and caused serious damage to her career, which caused her to lose somewhere in the range of 15 to 20 million dollars. Not to mention when she tried to break into the music industry in 2011 with her one and only song that was called Jam Turn It Up. 
let's just say that it was a flop. But the music video was comedy gold. It's really no wonder that she's known as the most considered of the Kardashians. Number four, Chrissy Teigen. The 35 year old cookbook author faced heavy criticism recently following reports of cyberbullying and extremely arrogant behavior, even for a Hollywood celebrity. So many celebrities came forward to accuse Teigen, including Lindsay Lohan, Farah Abraham, and Project Runway star Michael Costello of being extremely cruel online. It was really bad. In fact, the model had to apologize for telling reality star Courtney Stoden to take her own life in 2011. And she only backpedaled on her comments when she was called out for them. When speaking about the incident, Tegan admitted that she was, quote, being an insecure, attention seeking troll. But she has also bullied little children. When talking about a nine year old in 2013, she tweeted, Quote, is it okay to call a small child cocky? Not only that, but a clip of the model went viral when she was hosting the Billboard Music Awards in 2015. And she was making her way to the stage when a woman tripped over her gown and fell. Instead of stopping to help the woman up or even check to see if she was okay, she just kept strutting her stuff. If anyone needs to be humbled, it's definitely Chrissy Teigen. Number three, Russell Crowe. The actor has long been the poster boy for arrogant Hollywood types, blokey swearing and random acts of PG violence. There were rumors that he threatened any media platform that published stories about him having a fling with Courtney Love. And some say that he chose to have a bodyguard accompany him into public toilets to ensure that no one else enters while he was there. But one of the wildest displays of his arrogance was in 2002, when he intimidated and attacked the producer of the BAFTA Awards for cutting his speech short and preventing him from reciting poetry to the world. Around this time, Crow appeared to be maxing out on his obnoxious troublemaking. And in 2004, he beat up his own bodyguard because he insinuated that the actor had had enough to drink. Then only a year later, he was charged with criminal possession of a weapon for allegedly throwing a phone that cut a hotel clerk's eye, all because he was unable to get connected with his wife. The Australian actor is also notoriously difficult to work with and has been described as having a legendarily bad temper, regularly shouting at his scriptwriters, yelling at them on phone calls while discussing the story. In fact, while filming Gladiator, Crow allegedly threatened a seasoned producer and said that he would kill him with his bare hands because he is annoying the hell out of him. Number two, Bradley Cooper. Few people would believe that the Hangover star is just another obnoxious Hollywood type, but according to his ex-wife's autobiography, Jennifer for Esposito believed that he was arrogant and a master manipulator. In the wake of their five month marriage breakdown, she claimed that the actor actually had a mean cold side that he attempted to keep hidden from the public, which he could turn on and off like a switch. The autobiography called Jennifer's Way doesn't mention Bradley by name, but the time frame that she mentions fits with the time that she was with the Hollywood star. The 49 year old actress described being asked out by the actor and ignoring an entire marching band squad of red flags because she didn't think the romance would pan out. But sure enough, they got married in 2007. And according to Jennifer, their relationship quickly became unhealthy and she felt very alone. Meanwhile, rumors were circulating within the industry that Bradley would often exhibit diva behavior, which only intensified when the Brazilian newspaper Glamorama claimed that he intentionally ignored his fans while filming The Hangover 3 and was also late to several press conferences and rude when it came to answering questions from reporters. And coming in at number one, P. Diddy. Although Sean, P. Diddy Combs seems to be in the public eye a little less over the years, there was a long, long span of time when he was seemingly everywhere, from the music scene to television and the fashion world. You don't have to dig too deep online to unearth some of the most cockiest things that the rapper has ever said. For instance, when talking about his love life, he was extremely overconfident. Quote, being an international rap superstar, sex is one of the easiest things to get. So there is a point where you get tired of it. Not only that, but at the launch of his clothing line, he was quoted telling reporters, I am fashion. And let's not forget about the infamous Playboy interview that he did. Quote, if I'm not inspiring you at this point, you're a lost hope. I dare you to write down all of my achievements. It will be overwhelming. Who else has conquered television? Who else has conquered fashion? Honestly, it's hard to believe these statements are even real, but it does sound very similar to things Kanye has said over the years. Diddy also received a lot of backlash after hosting this year's Billboard Awards, with many people criticizing the rapper for using the platform to blatantly promote all things related to him and not the show. Talk about ego. 